Super Dave here with another review. Super Dave here, and we are about to take a look at a Thundercat Ultimates from Super 7, and I'm excited about this one. I'll just give you a hint. Snarf, snarf, snarf. Oh boy, that drives my wife crazy. <laughs> but I love Snarf. He is so cool. Now, he's the goofiest character probably of all, but hey, you know. He was the nanny of lion -O. He was a core character, and we finally have him. And it's my first ever Snarf action figure, so I'm excited. But as a bonus, we're also going to take a look at an Animal Warrior of the Kingdom Primal Series figure. This is a Triu, and we're going to take a look at a Triu. Also, as we look at Snarf, this sideline or... Uh, you know, obscure line of action figures are really cool. I did not get all of them. I just got a couple of them that I thought were cool looking that I thought would go well with the Thundercats. And this Atreyu is really, really neat. If you want to pause and read the bio that is on the back, you can. All right, we're going to break open this Atreyu. But first, it's time for the main attraction. And we have this nice collector box. Now, notice that they've done away with the foil on the and the 3D, uh, you know, like pop out type logo here. So they did away with that. I, I wish they had done that at least for the core characters. Uh, so that's interesting. They went cheaper on the packaging. If you notice that, same thing on the back that we've been getting. And then let's open up this sleeve and see the character finally. We have Snarf, Snarf, Snarf. <laughs> All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We finally get Snarf. This is going to be so cool. And, of course, this nice collector-friendly box that Super 7 always gives us. And then just check out the artistic work on the back. So neat. And there's his bio. If you'd like to pause and read that now, you can. All right, let's go ahead and get our Snarf out of the package and check him out. And here we are on Third Earth, getting ready to take a look at some amazing Thundercats and allies as we take a look at none other than the Snarf himself, the nanny of lion -O, Snarf. And let's first take a look at his accessories and as we get ready to take a look at snarf let's come on over here alongside the other thundercats and take a look at his hands he comes with three sets of hands little hands these have like a gesturing clawing looking hand here with the little white colored in claws as you see there painted in and then he has this almost like open to to take hold of something a, a grabbing hand to hold his little egg that he comes with you see his little again his claws painted in there and then he has some open palm gesturing style hands and you see his first head sculpt here as well love the eyes the eyes just nailed it looks really good and the ears and the hair his mask or his facial hair I should say coming along the side of his mouth and nose is a little bit disappointing the quality of plastic kind of a shine to it and his hands compared to what we saw in the prototype in the look that we got you know in on the at the comic cons and fairs the comic con fairs and stuff but yeah i mean it has that brittle type plastic like i brought out in the mandora review and that's disappointing because they could have used a higher quality of plastic and it would have looked a lot better and more of a matte color. But he does look excellent overall. 
uh, just wish they had just you know done the plastic quality of his feet and hands and then this this little beard section here just with a little bit more of a quality plastic in my opinion but his eyes do look great and then you have his angry face there again the eyes look really good again the plastic around his uh, facial hair is just a little bit you know brittle looking and then also with this one a happy snarf that looks really excited and or maybe he's talking or he it just looks very iconic of snarf awesome 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 it's good to finally have this figure first time I've had snarf in my collection I'm excited about it and he comes with the tail that you see here that has the stand so he can stand up and that's cool and that's fully articulated and we'll take a look at that here in just a moment but he also comes with his regular standard tail which looks like can just plug in the back and and be shaped and moved around articulated so that's awesome and then the little egg shaped is actually a piece of burbles candy fruit the burbles the robot teddy bear looking things <laughs> and then we get another claw shield one of line those claw shields and this one's really cool because the sort of omens in its smaller form before it transforms can slide right down into that hole and lock into place and that's really nice I like the way it fits and we get another version of the small sort of omen the eye looks a little different it's a little shinier I think we'll compare those in comparison but just look we get another claw shield and that's cool uh, that you know snarf would sometime bring lion -O, have to bring unconscious lion -O, his sort of omens and claw shield or you know different things and episodes that snarf would help his buddy lion -O. of course he was lion -O's nanny <laughs> and we learned just yesterday that in wave 10 of our Thundercats Ultimates, I believe it's wave 10, but one of the waves, the next wave anyway, we're going to get young Lion-O, so that's cool, and Snarfer. So Snarf, you will not be alone for long. You will have one of your own kind with you, hopefully in about <laughs> nine months to a year. But uh, that rounds out his accessories, except for this satchel. He does have this gray matte satchel with a little bit of silver paint along the top as a zipper there. But that is all of his accessories looking cool. So now let's take a look at the other dude back here and some of his accessories. And first of all, a tree you comes with three sets of hands also. You see his balled up, tight fisted hands up top there. Also his gesturing, pointing grabbing looking claw hands there and he comes with this little short sword there as well as a long sword look at it. it has it in his hand there looking cool little jewel in it we'll take a look at that a little closer also comes with two weapon holding hands and this awesome shield with the lion shaped head on it just take a look at that awesome impressive shield and so there's a tree you and there's his accessories now let's take a look at our Snarf and a tree use articulation. All right, let's bring our snarf right on in here and take a look at him. And we'll go ahead and put to the side his hands here and just take a look at this head. His head's going to be able to look all the way up. That's really good there. His head's going to be able to look down pretty decent amount there. I do wish there was a diaphragm, a very small hidden diaphragm joint in there so that he could bend, you know, his upper diaphragm and look down even further, but unfortunately we did not get that. But he does have excellent head pivoting, which is good for a Super 7 Ultimates figure. He's able to, of course, you know, look side to side like so. So he has excellent head articulation overall, really nice. Uh, it's real loose in that ball joint, but it's functional and really well done. He's going to be able to get full 360 with the hands, go all the way out to a T pose like so. He also, he does get single jointed elbows, but it goes at least 90 degrees. And he also has a swivel at the elbow like we see with most Super 7 Ultimates. That swivel at the elbow which this one's feel like they're kind of locked in place I don't want to break them but uh, yeah they're a little tight again the brittle plastic is just I'm just not a fan of the the brittle plastic 
with these guys i just i just wish so bad that they would improve the plastic because i feel like it's going to break up in there and if it breaks that's it even with the joints that go up in these holes here with these little hands the plastic feels so brittle and cheap uh, you know that's the disappointment with when you pay 55 dollars for an action figure this small um, but you know it is what it is with super 7 their quality just isn't the best but his legs will go up about that far and look we even get a peg hole in the bottom of his foot just notice that but it'll go back that far he will get pretty much splits it goes you know out a very good amount and there's an incredible amount of function to those hip joints they seem to do very well as far as you know being able to move and that's good again there is a knee swivel right there and it's not locked up like the elbows as far as not being able to you know turn without feeling like it's breaking that knee is again a single jointed knee it goes up about that much it bends in about that much so very limited range with the knee but i think it's functional for a snarf character let's see what we've got uh here with the feet he's got excellent rockers they're going back and forth as you see there back and forth as a rocker that way but i'm trying to see. yep there is a hinge hidden in there i wasn't sure if there was a hinge in there or not but he does have a hinge so his feet he will go tiptoes and he'll be able to go up like that and we already showed you the rockers and the peg holes off to the side of the foot where it's a little thicker and see that's why the, the the plastic is so cheap they couldn't have put the peg hole anywhere else except for that thicker place or it would have split um, they just needed to have used instead of this shiny brittle feeling plastic they just should have used a stronger tight plastic but I'm gonna stop harping on that and then moving on to the tail this tail is hinged here so it can go straight down so you can stand on this little this little uh, peg and it actually is glued on there so you'd have to disconnect that from that to you know so that's weird you know I guess so you can recline back I don't know I, I thought maybe that you could remove that I guess you can break the glue but I'm just not sure yeah it's not coming off of there and I don't want to break it but uh, it will swivel and hinge here and then also it swivels right there I don't see a hinge but you are on, gonna also be able to swivel him right there at the base of the tail it comes out of alignment with the paint but you can swivel there and swivel here and hinge so you get a full range back it up so you can see it. you get a full range there uh, the back of the tail for that one all right so now we have this smaller tail piece so let's go ahead and pop out if we can get this I might have to do it off camera okay so I didn't like this at all I mean this was very complicated basically what I did is I popped this part out thinking that's where the tail would go but it's actually you have to pop out the part here and I had to heat that up to get that to pop out because it was so super tight. I had to heat it up with a hairdryer. Didn't want to break this, trying to pull this apart. But I was finally able to get that to pop apart. So this is the only part that's supposed to be removed. And then you pop in this lower part of the tail. Almost wish they had just done it the other way, but you know, I don't know. But then you put this in there. This is kind of confusing to me. And then you pop this back in and I'm trying to figure out okay so yeah that's the difference so you can still turn the tail here the regular tail instead of it being the straight part with the base you can still hinge that down like that and get him to have like a and you can bend his head up like that it's kind of like what we saw in the in, in the promo pictures of him crawling kind of like so so that's pretty cool I have to straighten out his hands here and uh, make it where he looks like he's oops and those popped out there but let me go ahead and replace those hands go ahead and show up another hand and all of these are horizontally hinged yeah we don't have any any uh, any any vertical hinge in this set and then he, he would be able to crawl kind of get his feet going in the right direction there he'd be able to crawl kind of like so 
and get his tail whipping around there. So yeah, you're gonna be able to get a pretty decent amount of articulation with this snarf, which is what we needed. Uh, never has there ever been made by company a snarf, to my knowledge, that was actually articulated to this amount. So excellent job as far as the articulation. Just have to work a little hard to figure out, you know, the tail functioning, but it works. And so far, nothing is broken, so that's a blessing, thankfully. But there is your snarf. Let's go ahead and try out another head sculpt here. So that pops off fairly easy. And let's go ahead and get the head sculpt where he's looking like he's he's laughing or talking. See if that'll pop. A lot of times the second head sculpt, third head sculpt, whatever in this case, are hard to pop on if they've never gone on before. So let's see. I don't want to break it. Oh man, and everything's so sharp. Hurts your hands. Ah, it's not going on there. Gonna have to heat it up. And after heating up that head, I was able to pop it right on without a problem, but I did have to heat up that socket so it would go in there. And then that other hand, I went ahead and attached it so he can actually hold his burble, his burbeal, uh, candy fruit <laughs> and he's happy about it because he loves some burbill candy fruit and so snarf is just looking so awesome so much fun I am just tickled you know yes I have my qualms about his construction and his quality but I love this character he is so fun it almost makes me want a plush version of him I just recently bought my wife another Care Bear uh, one of the 14 inch Care Bear, uh, you know, stuffed animals. And I thought about it, it's like, you know, I'd love to have a plush snarf. That would be fun. You know, if you can have a, a Care Bear, why can't you have a snarf, right? <laughs> uh, and they've got like on one of those apps, they've, somebody has like a Orco plush that is like $80. I just cannot bring myself to pay 80 bucks for a plush Orco, but they do have them. Yeah, a plush snarf would be a lot of fun, but he is looking so good. No articulation to his ears, and uh, I'm not a big fan of the angry head, but I mean, of course, I could heat that one up and pop that on, but the, uh, yeah, the articulation is the same on this head, but I love that head. He's smiling, he's talking, he's excited about seeing Lion-O, he's excited about going with the Thundercats to, um, to on a mission and to get some verbal candy fruit all right all right bringing our a tree you on in here a little closer let's take a look first at this head sculpt because of this hair here in the back and it's a really nice design the hair sculpt really looks good on this figure I think that uh, the sculpting is excellent on the hair even like a man bun <laughs> kind of shape back here but because of that hard hair he's only going to be able to look back about that much look up rather about that much and he's going to be able to look down all the way so that looks good he does get excellent head pivoting because the neck moves down here in this joint as well as the the ability for the head to to swivel and move as a pivot right there so that's excellent that we get that love that of course side to side so he gets pretty good range with our head articulation glad of that he also gets full 360 with his arm he's gonna go up right at the T pose at 90 degrees he does have a butterfly joint there inside that is excellent there under his uh, armor there of his chest looks really good you can see it in the back too back here coming through so you have really good uh, butterfly joint he also has bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows that get better than 90 degrees excellent he does not have any and he has a gauntlet swivel right here under the gauntlet so that's really good it has swivel and hinge at the wrist and all of these wrists and all three sets of the hands are horizontally hinged no vertical hinge for this nice sword which is unfortunate but I love the sword the sword looks really cool with a little turquoise jewel there almost sky blue jewel there in that sword sword looks nice as well made looks really neat like the brown on the handle and the thickness of the butt of that that's just looking really cool moving on to his diaphragm he also has the ability to crunch forward a very good amount and it it ratchets you can ratchet it 
you hear it clicking and he's gonna be able to bend back a really good amount there check that out really good and then he also has the ability to do a diaphragm uh, left and right and back and forth even further because of a ball jointed hip and waist so that is excellent so you're gonna get even further bending back and and crunching motion because of that and then the ability to go side to side so that's really good and of course he'll also rotate at the waist so he has that so he has this really thick rubber skirt and belt and loincloth type setup that gets out of the way of everything he's he's able to just about do splits even though that the thickness does start to crimp a little bit there see in the back here it starts stretching but he does have excellent joints there at the hips he also has thigh cut he's going to be able to kick up a really good amount he also has double jointed knees which look really good he also has the ability to go full tiptoes with those claw type beast feet and he's going to be able to go up even all the way just about even with that foot guard there he gets excellent rockers and we have a, a peg hole in the bottom of the foot which is really good let's see does he have does not have boot cut but we have the thighs so we don't really need that no drop down method here so I think we hit all the major articulation I did mention the fact that the gauntlet swivels and the neck has a motion right down in here as well so that's really good it turns and will pivot so that's really good and so you have that we only came with one head sculpt but really nice eyes and just nice detail overall to this guy so I say bravo to the articulation of these figures and I have one more out of this line that we'll be looking at but I just really like this a tree he looks cool there we go now let's go ahead and look at snarf alongside of some other Thundercats and some allies in comparisons and here is Lion-O and his girlfriend from Avatar. I call his girlfriend anyway, I like her uh, with Lion-O. And then Katrina from Masters of the Universe Classics Ultimates by Super 7 that came straight out of the Filmation series. Uh, she was in one of the cartoons there. And I always like partnering her with the Thundercats. And there's Snarf talking to Lion-O, just looking so natural. Isn't this fun? Looks so awesome. Just loving this and Lion-O is listening to his buddy and pal and nanny or whatever you want to call it yep there he is snarf talking away and there's Panthro having parked the thunder tank and Bengali doing some work on it here on third earth as we come along here inside of the forest as we join the other the other Thundercats as Snarf is explaining to the allies how that oh man Mumra better not come around or he's got something for Mumra he's ready for Mumra Mumra I'll get him Snarf 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 that's what he's saying <laughs> he's ready with the uh, sword of omen in his mouth with his serious angry looking face and holding Lionos claw shield he's telling them his stories of how he could really put uh, Mumra on the run looking good <laughs> looking good beside Chitara and Tigra here awesome all right now let's do some comparisons with our Atreyu. And here is Atreyu next to our Motu Classics Chief Carnivus who fits in very well with our Thundercats Ultimates figures. You see they just look really good together. He looks like he could join Chief Carnivus's men and or lions I should say as well as Pumra who I'm pretending in this form is a uh, third earth ally to the Thundercats um, even though I know in the cartoon he was an imposter this it was it was actually Mumra in disguise but uh, look who is interested in a tree you Pumira Pumira is very interested said mm, he's nice 
looking hunk of cat over there. I uh, want to get to know him. So, <laughs> and there's Snarf in the background standing up on his tail holding one of the relics from Third Earth. And there they are all together just looking awesome. Looking awesome back here. Just all of them together. Just so cool. Having so much fun with these Thundercats. Can't wait to put the cat's lair back there on the hill and I'll have to level it out some but put you know cat's lair is gonna look so awesome back there it's gonna be so fun I've extended and de deepened this set just so I can put um, you know figure out a way to put um, our cat's lair back there still have a little work to do but it's gonna be deep enough back here to be able to have the cat's lair back there in the distance when we want just you know the pictures of the outside of it and then we can set it up also a little closer uh, up front here at the table when we want to do the inside of it so looking forward to that getting that ready in my mind and all of that good stuff but these guys are just looking so cool together looking so good together all these action figures of uh, Thundercats and their allies so cool and here we are on third earth with bull looking humanoid characters lions tigers snarfs bumblebees <laughs> avatars rabbits he-man and all forms of allies on third earth just take a look at all of them so cool awesome thank you so much for joining us for this super dave review come back and see us next time be blessed and here's some photos in the photo gallery